So I'm with Steve Walker here from Douse Engineering. Steve, uh, you purchased a Cubelex machine, which is a, uh, a multi-pallet, five-axis machine with turning function on it. We're going to have a look at some of the components that you've uh, now machining here, pretty much, maybe not necessarily in one hit, but two operations, compared to where you have had to have used a lathe before and then a machining centre. Um, let's start, in fact, let's start with this big one. Do you mind just picking this one up and, okay, yep. um, and maybe telling us what it is and, and how you benefited from the Cubelex use doing this part? Uh, right, well, this is... Um it's, it's actually an electric motor housing, so there's a stator part that comes in here. Um, and this is pretty much going to be the future of aviation. Little electric motors rather than fuel. Uh, the, produced on the Cubelex, as I was saying in my previous video, um, we can do the turning on the outside diameter. Whereas previously, a great big long end mill or you'd have to spin it round with a ball nose over and over and over again. To turn down the length of there is probably three minutes. I mean, you couldn't turn that with a ball nose, though, could you, surely? No, no, well, you can, but you wouldn't achieve the surface finishes, you wouldn't achieve the tolerance in and the consistency of what you get with, with being able to turn it. So, yeah, um, but also we could we, we milled in all the water channels. These are cooling channels for water to flow around. So that's just the milled finish, all in one operation. Which is great because you know the relationship between the turning op and the milling op exactly is, is spot on. Exactly that, yes. Um, also, we can thread turn, we can bore on the inside. So concentricity wise, we know that it's absolutely spot on. Where previously it would have had to be done on a lathe, another boring operation on a lathe, a milling operation on a milling machine. So yeah, top time consuming and you're, you're lending yourself to, to errors. And it's an expensive uh, part as well, I'm, I'm uh, sure. It's, it's a very expensive part, very expensive part, yes. Okay, let's have a look at this one quickly. S much smaller. Much, much smaller, um, produced in quite high volumes by us. Uh, very simple job, really. It's uh, Again, you, you could mill the outside of this, not a problem. But because it is a consistent form, it's, it's, uh, the t turning of it, produces a wonderful turn finish and at the same time we could just mill the bearing board very simple very simple part but you can load up 32 of these and just let it run oh, perfect illustration right this this one's the one that's i'm not saying the others haven't impressed me but this one is uh certainly something that stands out to me yeah it's well, great. yeah i mean this part is uh sort of a, a, a cut above the other parts um again this can all be produced on a milling, milling machine there's lots of milling around the exterior Again, you'd have to bullnose and spin it round. And you could use boring heads down on the inside. And um, what you won't get on, on a milling machine is you won't get a turn finish across the face. One boring bar that can do the whole lot. So absolutely perfect. We don't get the uncertainty on repeatability with, with four or five boring bars slightly off. It's all concentric. It's absolutely perfectly round. And you've done this um, with a grooving tool. And we've also done this with a grooving tool, yeah. So instead of the... The part stays just rotating. We've got a tool here, in fact. So the part would have been spinning up at about 1500 RPM. And then this comes down the fins, across the bottom, and up again. Very, very, very quick in comparison with a milling machine. Probably no more than 10 minutes here, whereas it'd be at least an hour on, on a mill. Okay, so, now, yeah. so now, now we're really down to, if you wanted to, this part you could, you could machine in two operations. Two operations, yeah, that's right. Whereas if you, it, the customer is demanding a turn finish and the necessity for it. So if you didn't have a Cubelex, you had a MAM, it'd be two operations on the MAM as this, but also two operations on a lathe. We've cut two operations out. So in reality, that's quite a time saving because it isn't just two operations, it's two setups two operations, two lots of inspection. And you would need a man in between all of that. I of say course. a man, not a man, because on this machine, you could put 32 on there um, overnight yeah, and come no. into a finished 32 components we, in the morning we, we if do, the time you know, cycle was. We, we make these in small batches, but yeah, we, we, we load, load up five or six and, and just let them run. Great because story. it's an extended part, it, it runs for a longer time, so. Great story, so there you have it. Cubelex, uh, the man machine is a five axis pallet machine tool. Uh, and the MAM Cubelex machine, this Cubelex 35, has turning in, included in it as well. Up to 3,000 RPM, I believe, Steve. 3,000 RPM on the turning capabilities, and uh, it has the facility, if you're doing something that's slightly one-sided, you, you can balance it as well, so it tells you where to put the weights, and it tells you the maximum RPM to preserve the bearings. So, yeah, it's, 
Very versatile, very versatile. Wow, how impressive is that? Contact Matsura, matsura.co.uk.